me see me dad Hey kids, look at the tallest mammal on earth. Let's see if we can get closer to him. Look kids, he's looking at me. Can you see? But did you know that they only need to drink once a day? That's all, then that's enough. And then the whole day they're just out here in the forest just looking for something to eat. Kids, look at all these thorn trees. The giraffes love to eat the leaves of these thorn trees. And look, they have large thorns, but these thorns don't even hurt the giraffe's tongues. And the giraffe just love eating these leaves here. And what do we have here? We have the droppings of the giraffe. And what do we call animals that just eat plants like the leaves of these thorn uh, trees? Well, we call them herbivores. Herbivores. Let's say it together. Herbivores. All right, kids, let's go look for more wild animals. Come, let's go. <laughs> Running and hiking are just some of the activities that we can do here at the Cradle Moon Lodge to stay fit and healthy. But I'm not talking about this kind of hiking, I'm talking about walking! Yay! <laughs> Did you know that zebras are an endangered species? That means there's only a few of them left in the world. So we need to protect them by all means. And did you know that the zebra can run 65 kilometers an hour? That is about 40 miles an hour. That's very fast, eh? <laughs> wow, that's a beautiful animal, <laughs> the zebra. <laughs> Now it's time for the fun fact of the day. Did you know that the zebra was named after a French king? <laughs> no wonder it's such a beautiful animal. <laughs> but let's see what David is up to. This plant is called a hyacinth and it takes away the oxygen from the dam that the fish need to breathe. And without oxygen, the fish will die. So this is a dangerous plant, and we don't need this plant in the dam. Wow! Look at this huge pile of hyacinths. It's humongous, and it's bad for the fish. <laughs> Look, I'm the captain of my ship. <laughs> One of the fun activities that you can do here at the lodge is to go on a barge trip. Hippy! Let's barge out of here, man. I'm tired. Let's go. The springbuck is South Africa's national animal. It may look small, but it has a very big place in South Africa's history. You wash your hands. Oh no, I forgot. Kids, always remember to wash your hands. Wow. Look at those female impalas. Did you know that the male impalas have spiral horns? 
Let's look at some examples of spirals. The shell of a snail, a spring, and the tail of a chameleon. Give me some examples of spirals that you know. A clippy. As the sun goes down, I keep reminding myself that we really, really need to respect nature, eh? David, how do we respect nature? Don't litter, don't harm the animals, and simply respect nature. Simple. <laughs> 